Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we gonna learn about the Google Fonts. Now you might be thinking what Google Font is. So let me explain it to you guys. Uh, many of you might be wishing to use some different kind of fonts on your website to uh, style your text in some different fonts and you have seen that our uh, HTML library is limited to some fo some fonts and now if you are wishing to use some any other kind of fonts so for this Google and many other websites has some developed some tools for you to use some different fonts in your website so in this video I'm going to tell you about the Google fonts so Google has developed a website in which it is providing you a number of fonts and you have you can select any number of fonts from the website and just copy the code it will provide you the code and you can use them in your uh, html uh, html uh, file so how to do all this stuff i'm going to teach you in this web video only so let's get started guys so first of all i will also provide you the link in the description but uh, you can just do on your own also open up any of the browser in your uh, system and then just search for google fonts okay guys google fonts after searching that it will appear open up the google font page the first link you find over here fonts.google.com it is the address of your this page and now you can select an n number of fonts from here as you can see google provides 991 number of google font families over here so i'm going to just select some new fonts and you can just sort by your from here so i'm going to just select some few fonts from here guys uh okay i'm going to select this one so just click over the font and click the select this style and you can see uh pop-up is open from the right or left side or any other side uh, and it will show that you have selected this font and oh. so now what i'm going to do uh i'm going to select some other fonts also Okay, but guys, uh, listen to me one thing. Uh, that uh, your website, whenever you are using a font on your website, uh, uh, first thing that your website should contain only two or three fonts families, not more than that. Because if you do, uh, if you include a number of families in your website, then it might look busy, uh, and more uh, the people get distracted while you know, visiting your websites, and might your website creating score down because of that means so many people don't like to visit this kind of website we have a number of fonts and which are distracting them so always use two or three font families on your website which will because a website should be in simple in simple text format means a font family should be simple that it easily understand uh, easily readable and understandable by the user so let's just uh, 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 select some other fonts also. So I'm going to select this one because it's looking pretty cool, I guess. Look at this one. And let's just take one more example. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Okay, I'm going to select this last one. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. So now you can see, just click over this icon and you will find your all the families you have selected over here. Now just go on the embedded section and here you can use the two ways to import these font families into your web page. So first is the direct standard method. Uh, let me just try. No, it doesn't zoom over here. So first is your uh, simple uh, linking method. As you link your CSS file. So, the simple way uh, in a simple way to just link your uh, google font families on the different way you can just download the file from here and import this into your css file so i'm going to use the standard way for linking your uh, using this google font so i'm just taking this uh selecting this and copy this and after that uh, you can just go over here in your step in your video studio code and in the head section just paste this link and you can see over here we have using a number of families over here first is your mel server and family 
the second is your uh, Zilla slab plus highlighted as, as you can see a number uh, family name which is consist of your more than one word is uh, uh, connected by a plus sign over here an addition symbol over here and these are the two or three families we have used over here and one more family over here is this your know, charm or whatever it is so what you can do is uh, now I'm going to just style these fonts on my h1 h2 h3 font so let me uh, show you the output first and we will move on the styling part so now you can close the, all the folders and now just you can see I have not styled it yet so I'm just gonna style it so first of all let's just uh, I'm not styling yet so I'm just uh, making it uh, ascending in the order so it is quite easy uh, viable and understandable by you so I'm just gonna set this background color to RGBA and RGBA is a take your four values first is your RGB value and five is your alpha alpha will is the quantity is the percentage of a value means uh, how dark how uh, means I will show you how lighter your font color will wish uh, pop up on your screen and all so I'm gonna choose any color from it I'm gonna choose okay this one I guess I'm choosing this color over here and after that you can just okay wait for a second I just edit okay. as I have used an RGBAA RGB okay 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 guys sorry RGBA as you can see I have used an RGBA so first is your red green and this is your blue and after that you have to uh, assign the value of alpha alpha will going to increase the uh, percentage of your color let me show you uh, air and the alpha value range in between your 0 to 1 0 is 0 and if you if I use 0 0.5 it means 50 percent of the alpha and if I use 1 it means 100 percent of your alpha so your alpha value range in between your 0 to 1 okay so now I'm gonna change this uh, I'm gonna align my text to center and now let's align a give a line height and what line height is a uh, line height is uh, well, going to give a minimum height means if you have given a line height to your tick tag div tag uh, with any of the class name you will just give if you assign a line height to your div tag then it will going to it uh, the div tag then must have to the same height which have you assigned over here means if for example if i have taken the height of 250 pixels then the minimum height of your div tag must be 250 pixels it cannot be less than that so this is the use of your line height so i'm going to use 250 pixels and i have not uh, included your any font families over here just i'm just set it over here as you can see i have um, set a background and I have aligned the text my to my center and every text is separated by a line height of your 250 pixels okay guys so this is what line height helps you in this way and now I'm gonna embed my sorry font family so I'm gonna target my h1 tag over here and I'm gonna change font family to let us select any of the font family from here so I'm gonna select this one you can choose the select the name from here only and if you remember you can just type and in between the quotations just put the name over the family and after that just, similarly I'm going to choose the h2 tag over here and the font ff and I'm going to choose some different font family over here for example I'm going to choose this one and paste in between double quotations over here and now last with we are going to work with your h3 ff and sorry i'm going to select this your light the last family over chill last lab and highlight okay so just copy this guys and paste it in between your quotations over here and now just uh, go back to your html file and launch it with the open server yeah, open with live server and you can see the our font our fonts got changed over here as you can see my 
see uh, my h1 h2 and h3 uh, all these having different fonts over here so in this way you can work with the google font guys i hope you guys like this tutorial and do subscribe to our channel thanks for watching guys